there YouTube family it is Joni from smiling shrinking and I'm coming to you guys today from my kitchen on Sunday <laughs> June the 9th 2019 tonight I am getting ready to make what is called a Mississippi pot roast and I'm sure maybe you guys have had it lots of times I've seen it on the web I've seen it on Pinterest but I've never tried to make it so tonight it's my debut and I'll let you know what we think of it um, here are all of my ingredients to get started. Let me go. <laughs> you guys know I suck at this side. Um, what I've got tonight is I've got a two and a half pound pot roast. I've got better than bouillon um, beef stock. Um, you add one teaspoon to a cup of hot water. It makes it into, you know, a bouillon. I've got pepperoncinis. They're uh, not spicy, but flavorful little pepper. And you use some of the brine as well as the um, little pepperoncini peppers. And then you also use um, an au jus gravy. Oh, and a little bit of Crisco oil um, just to, to brown the meat first. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up my little camera. <laughs> my husband has this little arm and I've never used it before. Usually I use a, a Sunday dish. <laughs> And I just put it on my little um, pop socket and that's how I record everything. So today I'm trying something new and we'll see. I hope it works. Here is my Instant Pot. I've got it heating up right now on the saute um, setting. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of oil in, get it coated nice and around, and then I will put the pot roast in. So I'll be right back. Give me one moment. Okay, you guys, I am ready to get started. I'm starting with one tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna coat the bottom of my pan so that, um, because I'm gonna brown my pot roast first. And that locks in the juices, they say. It adds extra flavor, they say. And that can just never even be a bad thing. Um, I just washed my hands with soap and water, of course. And let me grab um, a set of tongs. And um, one of the things that said not to season it too heavily because the gravy that you're making, everything has a nice flavor to it. So just a very light sprinkle of salt. Um, my husband and I tend to be kind of wild about pepper, so I'm going to pepper it a little bit heavier than um, salt on that. I'm going to put the seasoning side down and do a little swish around and then oh shoot <laughs> it said to cut the meat into four pieces so give me one second i'm gonna grab my knife put it ding dong i forgot it said to do that i have all the ingredients i need to do that part give me one second and then i'll start putting the pieces in to brown so let me Oh, of course, I didn't cut it all the way through. <laughs> okay. All right, one more time. One, two, and two. There we go. I think that'll do it. So. Ooh, it sounds good. And then... And I'm going to um, <laughs> let me put this up so you guys can take a look while it's browning. Doesn't that look good? I wish it had smell vision. It smells delicious. So what all of the I've read like four different in um four different recipes for this. Um, most of them are very similar, but the one thing that I heard over and over is to let it brown on each side for five minutes before we get started. So I'm going to put you guys on pause and I'll come back when I'm ready to flip it over. Okay, you guys, it's still cooking. I said, um, I asked Alexa to be my helper. Um, she set a timer for me. One thing I forgot to say is an ingredient is a stick of butter. <laughs> What could not be better with a stick of butter on it? So um, I am going to, at the end of the video, put a printed version of the ingredients list. And I'll also leave um, a link for where I found the recipe, the one that I ended up using. And I will do that. 
Oh, it really does smell so good. Um, I did lightly season this other side and I'm just waiting for the alarm to go and I'll flip it over. So I'll be right back. Okay, Alexa, thank you for the timer. Turn off the timer. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a little flip so I can brown the other side. Ooh, looks so good. Oh. The thing that's awesome about pot roast, as you guys all know, it's really high in protein. My family loves it, my husband and I, we love it. Um, my husband's doing the little carb right now. Um, sorry, while that's cooking, Alexa, set a five minute timer, please. While that is, um, thank you. Um, while that's happening, I'm making, I just, <laughs> um, did my Keurig for a long one, and just an empty shot, so I had nice hot water, almost almost as hot as boiling. Put one table or one teaspoon of the Better Than Bouillon. Um, I, I saw a lot of reviews about that before when I first got my Instant Pot, that because you need to have at least one cup of liquid to make it come to pressure. And so um, I just remember hearing people talk all the time about how it's such a flavorful, delicious. Um, thing to use and it is cheaper than buying stock all the time. So I'm going to get the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to pull them over because at the end I'm going to pull the pot roast out, the meat out, let it sit on a plate for a minute. I'm going to add the liquid in. I'm going to deglaze the pan, which means just to get all those little yummy bits off the bottom so they don't burn and so that it infuses all that flavor into the liquid that it's going to do. So I'm going to get that stuff ready. And, um, and do that. So today, my husband and I, we went to a baseball game to the AAA guys here in our area. It's the Tacoma Rainiers, and that was a lot of fun today. Um, it was a good day. It's been a good day. Not very, it says it was going to be real sunny, and it was a little bit sunny, a little bit overcast, but at least it's not raining here in Washington. So I'm going to let this finish cooking here for a few minutes and I will be right back. <laughs> okay you guys, this is um, getting ready to go off while I was waiting. I came over, opened up the pepperoncini, and one of the comments that I read, because when I read recipes, I don't just read the recipes, I read the reviews and what people had to say, and most people said it was absolutely fabulous. One of the suggestions I read was to cut the little stems off the pepperoncinis before you cook it because those little hard nubs, um, people can't eat them. <laughs> and it, so it just makes the whole dish a little bit easier to eat. So I am, I just cut off all of those, made a big, huge mess, because you know. <laughs> uh, you know, speaking of messes, so yesterday, after I filmed the video and I uploaded it, I came downstairs and I was eating breakfast and my phone rang and it was my friend Kristen over at Asta Cielo Ima. And so I was so excited to talk to her. I went upstairs. Well, while I was talking to her, I had forgotten. I put on some hard-boiled eggs <laughs> to cook for my husband, Steve. And uh, Chris and I just started gabbing and gabbing. We talked for almost an hour. And as soon as we got off the phone, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Alexa, thank you. Turn off the alarm. So um, all of a sudden, I noticed this smell and I'm thinking oh my goodness it smells like the house is something's on fire and I'm like oh the eggs so I come downstairs and oh my goodness ding dong totally forgot the eggs and my, my only saving grace was that I had put the lid on it if not I'd have had uh I would have had bursted eggs all over everything my goodness Okay, a little bit of my bouillon stuck to the bottom of the bowl. It didn't all go down. So I think that when I get ready to do the pepperoncini juice, I will put it in here so I can get the rest of that yummy bit part. So, here, let me take this off again <laughs> and show you what I'm doing down here. Can you see? I'm just scraping those yummy bits right off the bottom. That's called deglazing, of course. I'm sure you guys know that. You know what else is funny? Sometimes I'll watch my video back. Um, <laughs> I am 
such a ding dong. There's so many times I say things wrong or, you know, just use the wrong word in general or draw a total blank and can't remember what Bermuda shorts are. And I promise I'm really not a ding dong in my real life. I just have my moments. Anyways, oh, that looks just wonderful. Now, one other thing, if you're not as familiar with your Instant Pot or if you don't have one yet, I suggest getting one. It really makes good food and it's tasty and uh, it has it really speeds up the process. Anyways, by, by doing this, by um, browning the meat first, my Instant Pot is already nice and hot. That means it's gonna bring everything to pressure sooner. Pressure just means that it's boiling, it's making steam. See how all the steam is rising? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm adding in eight pepperoncinis. One, two, three. These are the ones I cut the stems off. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm doing, oh, that one I didn't, so that must not have been the one I did. Here's the last one. <laughs> Um, I'm doing eight. Some people say you can just do um, six or eight, depending on how much flavor you want. They said it's not spicy. I'm trusting them. I'm trusting them because I don't do great with spicy. My husband uh, couldn't be spicy enough for his taste. So I'm supposed to add a half a cup of the juice on this. So mm, that's close. Maybe just a little bit more. There's a half a cup. So I am going to give that a swirl. And by swirl, I mean use my <laughs> mixing tools. I try to get the rest of that bouillon off because again, more flavor. Oh, <laughs> you know what else I forgot? Gosh, you guys, I should probably edit the beginning. <laughs> so I'm supposed to add, I'm gonna get a rubber scraper so I can get all that yummy bits on. The other, <laughs> the other part that I didn't, say was uh some of the hidden valley ranch a packet of hidden valley ranch is the other <laughs> ingredient and i didn't even i didn't buy one because i knew i have a costco pack so i'm adding in the au jus i'm gonna give that a little sprinkle around and then give that a mix and then as i said i knew i didn't need to buy a packet <sighs> You know, Marie Kondo would be very proud. I've got cupboards where I know where things are. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am going to give it's one teaspoon is the equivalent. So let me grab a teaspoon of seasoning. And I believe that's right. Actually, let me pause this and just double check because I don't want to, this is my first time doing the recipe. I don't want to mess it up. Give me one sec. Okay, I'm so glad I double checked that. It should have been a tablespoon and a third, which means four teaspoons. So that's one, two, three, four. That is a packet. That does an eight ounce. Um, and I'm going to use that just to get the rest of that bits off. Okay, so I've got the pepperoncinis in there. I've got the gravy mix in there. I've got now the ranch dressing mix in there. All I have left to add to it at this point is I'm going to add the meat back in and I'm going to add the butter. So let me add my meat. And of course, once I put the meat in there, I'm going to nestle that up a little bit. Make sure all that good juice is touching the meat. And then of course, I'm going to take all the drippings that are on my plate here and add it to the pot as well. Because again, just that is just flavor. Good flavor. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to add the butter and then I'm going to set it. Okay, and my stick of butter. And then I am going to put my, um, turn my Instant Pot off because when you change things, there it goes. Okay, I am going to turn it off. This is a trick I learned, ha <laughs> ha. Always make sure your ceiling ring is on there nice and correctly. I screwed that up last time and <laughs> it was not great. So then I'm gonna set my little thing, not from venting, but to ceiling. And that means when it brings it up to pressure that it will, um, it will s capture all of that good pressure in there and that's what will cook this. So normally when you do a roast like this, it would take three to four hours in the oven. This is going to cook in one hour 
and then I'm gonna let it naturally release the pressure for at least 15 minutes because when you do that, it leaves all the moisture in your meat. So I'm going to, right now it's turned off, can you see? <laughs> I'm gonna set it to manual and then I'm gonna pull this number up, up to, and I'm gonna do one hour and 10 minutes. It says between an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. It's not a huge roast but I certainly would rather overcook it a little bit and it won't be overcooked, it won't. It will just be fabulous. And then it's going to turn on, it's gonna click, and then it will bring it up to pressure. Like I said, I will come back in just 70 minutes when it's all done and wait for it and then I will come back and give everything a stir and shred and, and I'll show you what we're doing. So tonight, like I said, my husband's doing low carb right now. I am doing moderate carbs because as much as I can, I'm making potatoes to have with mine, some mashed potatoes. My husband's making a little stir fry veggies to put with his um, roast, but I will be back in a little bit and tell you how it goes. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, so the alarm went off and we did a, a natural release for 16 minutes and then I did a quick release for the rest just to let the pressure out. I'm going to take the meat out and the pepperoncinis. This meat is so soft. <laughs> can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait to taste it. It smells scrumptious. One of the things I read when I was looking at recipes, they said that this beef makes awesome sandwiches, which I can believe. I'm gonna take the, the peppers out too, so I can make the gravy. Ooh, mm -hmm. gonna thicken it just a little bit to make a gravy, and I'll take a picture and show you what's going on. sure that it didn't get lumpy and I added it to the extra gravy that's in here just to thicken it up a little bit make it a little bit smoother and then I'm gonna put it on to saute to help it thicken just a little bit flavor is awesome and then when this is all the way done I'm gonna shred that meat apart and then put it back in I'll be right back okay I got my potatoes Putting the, some meat on my plate. It looks awesome. I need, I should have made some corn. I love potatoes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take some of this gravy and put it over my potatoes. So I sure hope I like it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, mm. okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, let me. A little, a little zoom in on the dinner and last thing you're supposed to taste it so mm. that is really good if you can see it's super tender I have a hunch my husband's gonna put a bunch of pepper on it. Or the pepperoncinis. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I will show you next time we do a cooking show, we're gonna make our low carb pizza. But thanks for watching. <laughs>